Today, one thing is gonna happen for sure. The people who don't believe in miracles, you're gonna start believing in miracles after today. Because you're gonna get a golden opportunity to see God take two people and make them one right in front of your eyes. that came into his life, though, that seemed to have stolen him away from everybody else. <laughs> so as important as I saw his mother, and he loves his mother, as important as his father is, Miranda showed up. And so we get to see him just light up with a smile on his face and an excitement in his heart. And there's nothing more beautiful watching what God will do in somebody's heart when the Lord has given them the right person. I've had the joys of both dedicating, baptizing Marcus, and watching him as he grew into a young man. When our conversations had to change, when he was older, and when he had things to say back. <laughs> and so I've enjoyed the fact of his theological journey, his uh, discovery of both wisdom, and the discovery of who God is. And I enjoy iron sharpening iron. What I want my bride to know is that no matter what, I'll be there. Uh, people might have left you, uh, squeeze you out like a sponge in a dirty rag, but I'm, I'm going to be the one that sees the most beauty in you. No one's going to love you better than me, besides Christ, of course. And I'm looking forward to grow spiritually together. I'm looking forward to do ministry together and eventually, you know, have one and a half kids. Definitely an M3. Let's not have any girls. Uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm nervous as heck right now. All girls. But uh, I'm excited to start a new life with you. Um, so let's, let's get it going, you know? Let's watch some Rick and Morty too while we're at it. You know what I'm saying? Pickle Rick! Hey. <laughs> I'm ready. That's all I really got is um, the thought of being married wasn't something that, um, that I thought was possible. It was always a, like a, a dream. Um, never saw it really in, um, my family's lives or any of the people around me. And so to be here at this day and for it to be happening, all I can say is, yeah, I'm just, I'm ready. <laughs> so. Let's have a love like Luther. Let's make it so amazing that it seems like this world is ours. Let's Fill our mind with godly spirituals so our children believe in little miracles so they'll believe always and forever whether or not the world gets better. Let's make our house a home. I promise you now that you'll never be too much for me. Even when going in circles, there's no place I'd rather be than with the one who holds my heart. It's just the start, but I'm complete. Let's have a love like Stevie. Cause we won't wonder about superstitions. My intuition since I met you told me I made the right decision. For once in my life I've found someone who needs me, completes me, and I'll never have to check you on how you treat me. And I ain't say it was gonna be easy. I said 
but it can't be that hard long as all we do is keep our blessed union close to our God. I want a love that's beautifully abundant like Stevie's hair with braids. I want a love that's far from material things and like clothes it won't change. I want a love that's blind but still manages to hit every note. And I want it to cover me like a raincoat. You knocked me off my feet and I landed. My heart said you would demand it. Just say I do, I can't stand it. Let me put that ring on your left hand even though you're right-handed. Do I do my sherry or more? None but God comes above you. So when I call, it'll be just to say I love you. Let's have a love like the temptations. I want a love I can see that isn't just in my imagination. The girl's all right with me, though she'll fight with me. I want everyone hearing about our love like a Motown radio station. We've been together this long and we're this strong. Imagine strength from longer duration. I'll have to go back to Luther and reiterate exactly how it's so amazing. I want a love like Otis Redden. I'll leave my home in Georgia for you and I don't care where I'm heading long as I'm with you and that declaration comes from this wedding. Let's have a love so contagious everywhere we go it's spreading. I want a love worth more than diamonds and pearls except the diamonds that we raise that we'll call our little girls and on anniversaries let's show them how it's supposed to be. And when they talk about marriage, having babies and futures, let's take them back to Luther. And when the music don't sound sugar sweet like R&B, I know you'll still love me. When major turns to minor tones and we just can't seem to get along and you're so mad you won't answer your phone, I know you'll still love me. Like Sade said, this is no ordinary love, so let us raise it up to God so he can bless it from above and bring it back down. Even at times when vows slip into the background, let's consult our maker so that what's lost can soon be found. Let's have patience, self-control, and every other fruit of the Spirit, but let's listen. Let's not just hear it. And now as we go on, may God take us to where he wants to. Worries, I know they'll haunt you, but we'll make it if we ought to, so let's trust him. And when we can't, let's trust him again. So for as long as we love, we'll know Luther's records will always stay. Those of you who think that Marcus is an incredible gift, an incredible guy, give me a hand clap. Now, if you've never seen a bride so beautiful, a young lady so wise, hey. are so gifted, are so godly before hey. Miranda. Let's give Miranda a hand clap. First off, and all the bonics possible, hey girl, you looking good, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love you, G, you know? But on a real note, uh, what I have written down here is, love is not a joke, it is a smile and it's a sacrifice. And two things that I've learned since being with you is love is hard and it takes sacrifice, but it's also a smile. And so as we travel on our journey together, I promise that I will continually get to know you. The things that make you cry, the things that make you tick, but also the things that make you smile, things that make you do this when you're mad at me. I will get to know all of those. I promise that I will allow our relationship to be led by Christ. Whenever the Holy Spirit is talking to you, I promise to heed to the Spirit's wisdom. I promise that I will not feed into the gender stereotypes when it comes to our relationship or what other Christians may believe is a God relationship, but I promise that I will forever trust what God is doing in our lives. I promise that when work is too hard and when I want to prioritize everything else, I promise that you'll be my number one ministry. There's no one more important than you in my life. And I promise that I will forever sacrifice, love, and make you smile and cry like right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, Marcus, you are my favorite person, my best friend. Um, I spend most of my time trying to tell you every second of every day how much you mean to me. So today I find myself tripping over words and thoughts trying to find even more perfect words to describe to you just how much I love you. Um, to put it plain and simple, it is an honor that you've chosen me to be your wife. I cannot promise to be perfect. I cannot promise to say it or do the right things. But I can reassure you, as you already know, that I will trip and fall and mess a whole lot up. But I can promise to get up and fight. You are worth it. You are worth the risk of heartache and pain and beauty and joy. Uh, in just about two years, you've managed to become one of the most influential people 
um, to have walked in my life. I desire to love and serve you the same way you've loved and served me in just a short amount of time. I love you, Marcus, and I'll be in forever jetpack. John 13, Jesus says, this is the way it's going to be from now on. If you want to lead, you must first wash one another's feet. By serving those he loves in such a unique way, Jesus indeed took the dirt of life that they tracked in and said, no worries for me. I claim all of you. I love all of you. This is the full extent of my love. That whatever you track into this marriage, I kneel before and I receive it and I wash you and I claim all of you. And this is my deep desire for you, that you would claim the whole person. That you would say, not so for us, this need for a first and a second. But we claim each other fully. Think about the last meal you had. Question for you. How did the food get into the plate? It had to be served. It had to be put there. Someone had to intentionally make a motion. So I'm charging this couple to race each other with intentionality in their unity. Who can be first to serve? Who can be the first one to serve one another? So intentionality, there we go. <laughs> that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread as I do now, ministering in his name, he broke it and gave thanks and said, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup, as I now do ministering in his name. This cup is the new covenant, the new relationship in my blood. As often as you drink it, and do this in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Yevarech Adonai v'yishmerecha Ya er Adonai panavalecha v'chonecha Is Adonai panavalecha V'sem lecha shalom In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to the act of God. Brand new, never introduced any place else on the face of the earth, specially ordered just for you today, is the announcement of the wedding of Mr. and Mrs. Marcus and Miranda Payne II. Will you please celebrate this? As a signal of their unity, we ask that Marcus would please salute his bride. Just be 
Marcus, and Miranda You're officially my sister. I, I'm so thankful that you become a part of my life. I love you guys. I wish you the best. Have, have a good night. <laughs> I just want to say I had never seen Miranda so happy. Oh my God. Um, when she started to hang out with Marcus, and also for Marcus, I didn't know you, but man, the smile he had today, like before we went in, it was like I had never seen that before. <laughs> So yeah, I'm so happy for you guys. I'm not the best talking in front of you, but I am here to serve you as much as I can. Oh, in your life, I have searched my heart and soul for what to tell you. And I can only say this, I wish you a love that fortifies you in difficult moments. I hope that you remember who you are throughout it all and still have that same loving grace. I hope you wake up each day with a smile. And you know that difficult moments are only temporary in life. And I wish you nothing but the very best. I love you, my little squirrel. God bless you. <laughs> Hold those commandments that God has given us close to your heart, close to your lips. And as you do that, you'll make a way. He's made a way to this point. He's made a way to this point. We'll make our way to the next point. So again, congratulations we, on behalf of your mom and I and, and all your family and friends here. We have your back. Uh, we will continue to support you. At some point, you'll get out of my pocket. And, you know, it's going to take a little while, so I don't want to do it. We will get out of my pocket. We will get in your pocket. <laughs> but until that time comes, you know we have you. So if you would join us in raising your glass. As we celebrate the marriage, few hours into it, but I want to celebrate the marriage 25 years into it, Marcus and Miranda Yay! Yay. Yay.
to spend I'd go to you and take your hand And tell you that I wouldn't have Spend my days any other way the bed.